Welcome to the Freeland Writer's Eye Spotlight Talks for YouTube. Before we begin, I encourage you to use these videos interactively. When you are prompted to observe, pause the video and look carefully. When the educator asks a question, feel free to pause the video again and discuss your observations and ideas, making sure to address what you see that makes you say that. We're excited to share these videos with you and read your Writer's Eye entries. Enjoy! Today I'd like us all to take a long, careful look at this mural by collaborative artist Pichi Avo from Spain. First, I want to let you know you can visit this mural in person at 5th Street Station in Charlottesville. Just take the 5th Street entrance off Bent Creek Road. It was commissioned by the company that developed 5th Street Station. The piece is called Ravana River by Poseidon. Now, to the image. Let your eye move all over the work of art. Slowly take in the many details of text, color, and image. Give yourself plenty of time to observe. What colors do you notice? What do you see or recognize? What words do you read? Take time to look all over in search of things that maybe you would have missed upon first glance. As you continue to look, I'll give you a little bit of background information about this piece. In 2017, Pichi Avo came to Charlottesville to complete this mural for the shopping center at Fifth Street Station. Rising from the center of this mural, Poseidon, the Greek god of the sea, storms, earthquakes, and horses, can be seen flanked by his three horses. The ghost-like figures are both underlaid and overlaid with graffiti-like images. Seen more vividly in the background behind them, the words Ravana, Seaville, Virginia, and Respect are featured prominently. The mural spans 133 feet wide and 32 feet tall across a brick wall. The overall background color is a bright orange at the top which fades into a light blue towards the bottom, while the words are soaked in blue, pink, red, or yellow hues and outlined by a darker blue. What I really like is reading all of the different tags on the mural. If you could, are there any words you would change or add? When I first saw it, I was really surprised to see graffiti and an image of Poseidon together. On the subject, Peachy said, once we did some research, we found out that we have a river called the Ravana, so that's why we're representing the river with Poseidon. Avo said, that's why we picked it, and the horses represent the possible power that water can have. What surprised you? about this work of art? What questions might you have about it? I wanted to know more about the artists. Specifically, I wanted to know more about their name, Pichi Avo, and I wanted to learn more about the process. I learned that the name Pichi Avo comes from the first names of the two artists. Pichi was born in 1977 and Avo was born in 1985. Based in Valencia, Spain, they're known for large-scale murals and sculptures. They both have backgrounds in industrial and graphic design, and they met while painting in the streets of Valencia before establishing a creative partnership in 2007. Their collaborative practice de-emphasizes the singular artist. They said that they realized we could do even more together, forgetting the artist's ego and instead focusing on the final painting. When I was learning about their process, I found out that Picciavo named their style urban mythology. Experimenting with different methods and styles within classical marble figures and graffiti, they apply spray paints, collages, oil and acrylic paints, as well as gold leafs to their wall murals or sculptures. For their creative process, they begin by analyzing the space in which the artwork is placed then developing the meaning behind it. 
combining classical sculptures and paintings of Greco-Roman mythological figures and applying street graffiti in layers of bright colors. Pichi Avo highlights a relationship between the classical and the contemporary, while especially drawing attention to how art, sculpture, and architecture connect with the space and context around them. As a result, the interaction of the public with their art becomes entirely new. In explaining why they chose to incorporate mythological creatures, they said the best way we could think of to do this was by working with classical sculpture, sculptures that today are white, but people don't realize they used to be covered in paint. So our painting the figures with graffiti is our small tribute to the classical sculptures that have marked many historical recognized artists. Think about a mythological story from an ancient world. How might you retell that story with contemporary elements in the same way Pichi Avo reimagines ancient Greek and Roman art with graffiti tags? How might you create a poem or a story to add to this collaborative project? Thank you for looking at Ravana River by Poseidon by Pichi Avo with me. I hope you generated a few ideas for your creative writing. We're all looking forward to the day when we can gather safely at the museum. Until then, please reach out to the Education Department with any questions or feedback. Our email is museumoutreach at virginia.edu.